In this lecture, we are going to learn how to configure Matplotlib for making figures in scientific journals. So there are several important factors what you have to remember if you are making figures for journals or conference papers. First is the font size. In general, if you are making a half column figure, then the font size should be 7. This is based on American Physical Society papers, for example, physical review letters and so on. Now the figure DPI should be 400 or more. If you are making a raster based figures, for example, PNG, JPEG or TIFF. The font should be Arial, Helvetica or Times New Roman. These are the most commonly used fonts for scientific papers. Now X tick or Y tick direction can be in on can be in or out but this should be consistent across your all figures. In my case I prefer that X tick and Y tick direction to be in and it looks much professional. And one of the most important thing uh, which is very very critical in matplotlib is to embed fonts within the pdf now if you embed the fonts within the pdf then after you export the pdf you can edit the pdf in a pdf editor software for example adobe illustrator or affinity designer but if you don't embed the fonts within the pdf then you cannot edit the pdf in any third party software so let's open Jupyter Lab and do all the customization for making figures in journals or conference. Okay, so we have so we have this data.txt file which we are going to import and plot it for a scientific journal. So you need to import matplotlib, numpy, and to customize the font size, tick levels, and so on. We also need to import RC params. Now, if you are interested in changing colors and so on, then you also need to import matplotlib.colors as colors. So now let's customize the settings as I mentioned. So first, let's customize the axis level size and title level size. So axis level size is 7, now axis title size should also be 7. Now font size should also be 7. X tick level size should also be 7. Y tick level size should also be 7. So the line width of the axis should be 0 X tick measure width I will keep it 0 0.5 similarly Y tick measure width I will keep it at 0 
now x tick major size i will keep it at 3 y tick major size i will also keep it at 3 Now x tick direction I will keep it in y tick direction I will also keep it in please remember this customization I have done for a particular journal depending on your requirement you can change these parameters and customize your plot. So let's change the font type to Arial. So these are required if you are interested in writing mathematical equations in your axis labels or x labels. So if you have a Greek symbols or if you want to write LaTeX based symbols then this goes very well with the plot. So this is very important line. So this pdf dot font type equal to 42 what this does is that this embeds all the information and the fonts inside the PDF. So suppose when you export this plot as a PDF and if you do not include this command then what will happen is that your fonts will not get embedded in the plot. So now let's define the figure size and plot it. This DPI is only to visualize the plot in this um, Jupyter lab. So if you increase this DPI, the plot will look bigger. If you decrease this DPI, the plot will look smaller in Jupyter lab. So now let's load the data and plot it. So this is my x data, this is my y data. Now let's plot it. So color equal to brown. Line width I will keep it to 1. Alpha I will keep it to 0 0.7 so alpha is a transparency and label I will keep it So now let's put y label and x label
so my y level is current in nanoamps and my x level is voltage in volts now let's put the legend Okay, so this is how the plot looks. So as you can see, the distance between the tick labels in y-axis and the y-legend is very large. Similarly, the distance between x-tick and x-tick level is large. So we need to decrease the distance between this. So we can use label pad here. As you can see this Y label is coming close to the Y tick. Similarly we can do this for the X label. As you can see now the plot looks much compact and better. Now we would also like to shade this peak. So let's add a shading in this region. So this plt dot ax v line will draw a vertical line along along this direction. As you can see now we have added a shading at the center of the peak. Now let's save this figure as a PDF. Please remember that whenever you want to save a figure as a PDF, the save fig line should appear before this plt dot show. Okay, so now we have exported the figure as a PDF. Let's open the PDF and see how it looks. So this is the figure. So as you can see that the figure looks great. Now we can also save this figure as TIFF. So let's save it as TIFF. So we put dpi equal to 600 as you can see this is how the figure looks 